What's up everybody? It's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm and today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the front porch of the house over here. So I'll walk up there, talk about it, show you what we're going to be doing and then we'll kind of dig in and get to it and see what we get done over here. So let's go. Obviously we cleaned off the porch the other day and I didn't get to show you guys. I did buy a new rocking chair for the Old Bird Farm house here. This came to me from my good friend Ben from his antique store. It's nice and broken in. We got some dog toys up here. We'll go ahead and move those off the porch. You want this? Hey, do you want this? No, you don't. I'm just gonna toss it down there for you though. You're not gonna go chase the ball? So all of this section of porch is really solid. I mean, I feel confident enough to, uh, you know, jump on it. So that's not, that's not a bad thing. Just, it's really bouncy when you're walking on it. I'm going to set the camera down in just a minute and see if, I'm going to set it over there and see if you guys will be able to visually see the bounce when I'm walking across it. That way you'll have a good idea of what it looks like when we get fixed too, or what it looked like before once we get it fixed. The other thing is these right here where the wood is lifted up. Right there, I don't know how well, there, maybe you can see it like that. So, I know probably a lot of y'all are going to disagree with me on this. I'm not going to fix this. I'm going to leave this exactly how it is. The reason why is because these boards have been like this for a very, very long time. As you know, I've been talking to uh, some of the long ago residents of this house, and uh, those boards have been like that for, for you know, at least since the uh, 60s, 70s, something like that. So that's part of the patina, the patina of this porch. And I like it. I mean, you know, just the little ripples in the porch it speaks to the porch's age, I think. So I'm going to leave it. Some of y'all probably say I should fix it, but uh, I'm going to leave it for the sake of the patina of the Old Bird Farm porch, if you will, because this is going to be the only original section of porch left standing. Of course, we have pretty new sections on both sides. So this will be the, the last, of, last of the original. And we'll just kind of Leave it how it is, you know, um, but we're going to make sure it's sound. Now there's a hole right there and I'm not too terribly concerned about that. Just because of the placement of it. I mean, you know, we'll get these boards down and tighten them up and it's almost like there was, you know, like too, there wasn't enough space left for some of these wood, these pieces of wood. It's kind of why they bunched up and you know, hard to say exactly what's going on there but you know this is obviously rotted out here um and it leaves that gap but again that gap we just leave that you know it's everything around it solid um there are some pieces over here that i may actually want to fix move the dog bowl out of the way like right there you know that's maybe something that i want to fix so if i decide to do that uh it wouldn't be too hard to uh to replace that with matching wood so i'm gonna leave the camera sitting right here and we'll just kind of walk across it and take big steps and I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera or not the kind of kind of bounciness that the porch has and all of that is due to this wood on here simply not being nailed down to the frame under it so it's just kind of floating on top of the frame and uh, giving that bounce you can really see it right there on this section here so what the idea is going to be is to get the brad nailer out we'll separate this out just a little bit right here to find our board right here and there and there and we'll take the brad nailer and we'll just attach this i'll show this to you too in just a minute because you probably can't see the beams underneath but we'll take the brad nailer and just go down and tighten all of this wood up to the frame that's underneath and that should hopefully uh, secure everything and make it a lot tighter these ends i'll probably leave off for now um, just because this is an area that we'll probably be doing some work on, especially once we do jump into rebuilding the porch. But from here back, this should tighten everything up on the porch and I should just be able to follow the line down, make sure these are all secured. Now I'll show you what it looks like under here. So there you can see the beam right there, right there and under there. And I mean, again, you can note that none of these boards were actually ever nailed down. Um, we could even go all the way to the back and attach them to the ledger board back there. Um, it looks like this was kind of part of a hold down for it too. Um, that's not even attached anymore. Uh, so actually I'll get the broom and sweep all that out 
and we may attach some to the ledger board back there too and uh just really overall get this porch tightened up i'll actually see if i can't tack this back down on there as well today um it's broken but we'll see if we just can't just nail it in there so let's get started It has 140 years of dust for you right there. It's interesting how much sand is coming out of the wall there. That's from the uh, plaster, I believe. Oops, don't want to bust that window out. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and make sure all of these are where we want them. Let's get it over. See, there's some gap right there. We probably don't want them. I mean, some gap is okay. Again, that just kind of goes back to the patina thing. Because this wood has, you know, been exposed, obviously, to weather for a very long time. It's, you know, um, expanded and contracted and all that sort of thing. So we're not, you know, we don't want it perfect. It's going to show the signs of age. And, I mean, that's, that's what makes it cool, you know, is seeing that it's got that 140 years of age on it. Although, I don't think this porch is quite 140 years. It's probably closer to uh, maybe 100 years old. But let's get out the nail gun and go ahead and get started. All right, there we go. See how much tighter that one is already. There's no more, no more bounce to it. So we'll just kind of use this as a guide. Don't we'll just ignore the crazy cattle dog back there. Stop. Stop. All right, so that's just that one section of, uh, what's that, you know, like six, seven boards already. This is firm, right where I'm standing. We'll go ahead and do this uh, second row here. You stop. It's a note. We'll do the jump up and down test and look at that that is that is a lot more solid right there so that's great that's great so now we'll just go ahead and do that all the way down and uh, we'll have a more solid porch that is great right there it's amazing even on this small section to now be able to just walk across it and feel an immediate difference between that and this over here where this is just this is absolutely firm there's no question about your footing right here and then you can feel the difference here where you've got that you know that bounce in the wood still so cool Stop.
So that really tightened up the porch. You can see no bounce. Let's go over to the really bad area over right here. No bounce, solid wood. So much better now. I actually stopped nailing right in, right in here somewhere because this side is still really firm. I mean, I'm sure that putting some nails in it wouldn't hurt anything, but I just didn't see the need. I also tried to uh, tack down some of this just a little bit. I think I must not have done this side um, or I missed the board underneath. That's the other reason I stopped is because I couldn't tell exactly where the board was under there. I guess I should probably lay down like a chalk line that's, you know, follows along the board so I can see where I'm nailing. But otherwise, this was the worst offending section right here. And it is, uh, it's completely solid. There's still a little bit of creaking down there, just enough to remind you it's an old house. But, you know, I would walk up here sometimes and it would feel kind of sketchy, like there's a possibility that something might give way underneath there. And then I crawled up under there, looked at it, and everything looked so solid. And I saw it was simply a case where the boards weren't nailed down. So that's a big win for preservation of this porch right here. Um, so I'm pretty happy about that, and it just feels a lot better. So it's kind of hard to get across the uh, the difference in just, you know, the, the foot feel of it walking across it but uh maybe you guys will be able to tell something on camera maybe not seeing the bounciness and whatever but you feel a lot more sure-footed on it now another thing that went since we've got the uh, nail gun out front here i'm going to go ahead and put this other piece of siding back up on the house oh man i should have been doing some work under the house today because it is hot 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 here in Georgia and uh, I can just feel all the cool air coming out from under the house that's where that's where we need to start doing some work There we go that won't fall off anymore and there's no reason to have it off because everything under there is really good so we don't need to take that back off when we put another porch on here we'll just attach a new ledger board to this big beam here and build out from there and hopefully put a roof on it that's going to conclude this video guys a little bit of work on the porch done that small stuff is a real morale booster sometimes so just walking across the porch it uh, it feels great feels great now hope you guys enjoyed seeing this today don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh i'll see you on the next video